Okay, so, uh, uh, we're going to fix this, uh, neutral safety switch, um, really simple. Uh, once you got it off the transmission, uh, go ahead and take out, uh, these six, uh, screws here, and they will come out. Um, so go ahead... I guess it really doesn't matter which order you take it out in, but... Um, you would need to get some, uh, sandpaper and, um... Some lithium uh, grease for inside of here. Um, need a rag too. Um, clean the part stuff out. So let's open this carefully. Don't want to damage anything. All right. So uh, kind of the way this works is that um, here. So this part here um, turns up and down, and this is what is attached to the shaft. So when these uh, copper pieces. Um, touch neutral or park it tells the uh, uh, ECU in the Jeep uh, that it could start um, when, what happens when they go bad is that usually these um, connectors these uh, copper uh, pieces here they uh, just get worn out and you could uh, revise that with just a uh, some taking these out and uh, sand them just a little bit and there's springs under here too I'll go into that um, and you could pull those out and uh, um, stretch the springs um, so they will make more of a contact to these uh, here so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> yeah, I'm going to grab some need on us. Okay, so as you can tell, there's uh, two springs in there. The one by my fingers are kind of... Um, but go ahead and take those out too. So, just using a pick, um, try to get those springs out, not go everywhere, They're tiny, like that, so there's two of them, one for each one. Now, uh, go ahead and clean everything with a uh, parts cleaner. Um, so, I'll go ahead and do that. Get that all cleaned up. Alright, so, let's go ahead. Yeah, see how they're just stuck in there. Don't really want them to be. So let's 
put that one aside. I guess so, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I can't get any grip on these. turn off the camera and get that out okay so um, let's go ahead and got my parts all cleaned up um, so let's go ahead and uh, take these little uh, contact pieces and go ahead and uh, probably should just clean them So I just have some electrical cleaner. Um, anything works like uh, some brake cleaner, stuff like that. It'll uh, work too. Oh well, yeah, not done party with the other one, but. Uh, so I got my sandpaper here, I'm um, going to just put it like that and just sand it just a little bit, see nice and shiny, do the same thing on the other side. And for the top of them. You need to do that too. There you go. Nice and shiny. So now go ahead and take your spring. I'm going to clean this just a tiny bit. Um, there you go. Put it in my dirty rag. There you go. So now you need to uh, take these springs and just go ahead and stretch them out just a little bit. Um, just like that. Now you could take this here and put it in there. Right there. So then after that, go ahead and take your uh, new sanded pieces piece. Let's see. And go ahead and put that in. See how that's stay on top a lot more. That's good contact. Um, so, yeah. And uh, repeat the process for the other one. Okay, so got both of them in. Um, now go ahead and take your dielectric, dielectric grease and put some on there. Slide 
Also, ja. So, and the next thing, you need to take this and do the same thing with the grease. So, just like that. Go ahead. Smear it all around. So take this piece here. Um, I didn't really show you, but it's pretty simple. Um, so go ahead and put this in like that. Push it down. Then be careful; these might fall out. Um, so you have. Your kind of gasket kind of thing right here. Um, so that goes on first, as of right there. So then the next thing is this lock ring. So that goes on just like that. Then you're not. Alright, so it's pretty much just uh, reassembling it all. Uh, so, push that down. Go ahead and grab your nuts, your bolts, or screws, put it that way. <laughs> So I noticed that uh, these gold ones comes out of the black, where it's black, where it's black like here. Um, so, and these uh, silver ones comes out right there. So, put those there. These don't have to be super tight, but you're going to pl this is going to plastic, so it can break if you tighten them too tight. So, just warn you about that. There you go, so now it should work. Uh, I'll go through the other process of how uh, to make this, uh, the other process. All right, sweet. Okay, so as you're putting this on, um, when the transmission's in the Jeep, uh, go ahead and go all the way uh, tilt this ollie forward uh, then uh, tighten that bolt down um, and tighten this down obviously and put the lock nut uh, the lock ring on there uh, so after you get that uh, go in and hop into the Jeep and uh, put it to uh, park and then if it starts Okay, then uh, turn up, turn it back, turn the engine off. Uh, put it into neutral. If it doesn't start in neutral, uh, you need to go back under the Jeep and unloosen this and uh, tilt it the other way. 
then it should start um, in neutral and park. Um, pretty simple, really. Um, Alright, thanks guys.